Okay, so today we are talking about the snakes in your life. This morning I woke up at can be five, can be four, can be five. I never looked at my watch this morning. And I said, Lord, why what are you what do you want to tell me this morning? And it came to my heart. The snakes that we are allowing in our lives and how they influence us. As a parent, you allow people in your life. Friends that you think are good to you. And they are not necessarily good to your children. And I was thinking about this this morning and I realized that we didn't pray about our friends. We didn't pray about the family members we allowed into our lives. Not all friends, not all your family members are good to you. They are snakes. And they come in and they destroy your household. They destroy your children. And I was thinking about this. And I was thinking that that's the truth. And you are taught as a child to accept the elderly's bad behavior. And then when you speak up against it, then you are in the wrong. And I cannot tell you how many times in my life as a child and a teenager, how many times I got into trouble because I spoke up against my uncles, my aunts, uh, friends of my parents that came to visit and their behavior was not up to par. And I would say, listen yeah, this is not right. And then it is, who are you to say what is wrong and what is right? You are just a child. That's a grown up. Let his behavior be as it is. No, BS. What's wrong is wrong, what's right is right. Why do you expect me to treat you with respect, but you cannot treat me with respect? And the thing is, I realized that we have been bitten by a snake. We have been conditioned by that snake to accept his bad behavior. I mean, if you think about a snake, what does it do? It strikes. And then it follows you to see where you succumb to its venom. Okay, some snakes' venom acts in seconds and you're dead. Some snakes, it takes a time. If you don't get anti-venom ASAP, you die. But that snake will follow you and see. And this is what some people do. I mean, you meet a friend and you allow that friend into your life. And that friend comes and everything is just, they say the right thing, they do the right thing, they pray with you, they believe with you, and then one day, when you don't realize it, it strikes. And then you're standing and you're thinking, what in the world happened here? What is going on? But the signs were there, but you ignored them. Now suddenly, you are standing here, and you don't know what's going on. But you have been feeding that snake. You have given that snake permission to be in your life. I 
mean, and now that's like, it's taking your blessing. It is taking your children. It is taking your husband or it's taking your wife. It is taking your business. It is taking your blessing. It is taking your ministry. And you're standing here thinking, and God wants you. God wants you, but you didn't listen. God showed you the bad behavior, but you didn't listen. You're thinking, no, um, that cannot be. You know what, Lord? I, I did not hear right. No, it, it cannot be. God warned you. You did not listen. And this is the thing that I've been thinking about this morning in my own life. Why have I been feeding the snakes in my life? I went into wrong relationships, friendships. And I fed those snakes the best years of my life. And they were feeding on everything I gave them. I gave them the best years of my life. I gave them my ministry. I gave them everything. I wasted my time and energy. And then one day, you turn around and you realize, but you were so strangled. You were so engulfed by that snake in that wrong relationship, in that wrong marriage, in that wrong relationship with that man, in that wrong relationship with that woman, because all they were doing is taking, they were not giving anything. Taking, 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 taking. They were like egg feeders. They were eating your blessing. And you were willingly giving it. Because that is what we were taught. To willingly give it. And this is the thing that I was thinking about. You know? You go into a relationship. And this guy comes to you and he says, If you love me, you will give you your total, your whole body to you. The most precious thing that you own is your body. And now he suddenly he, he starts gaslighting you. You don't love me. If you love me, you will sleep with me. If you love me, you will do this. Have you seen the, the movie Bonnie and Clyde? Those two words totally stir crazy. And the thing is, is that we want validation and vindication. And now you think, but he's not going to validate me. He's not going to vindicate me. Now he's going to go somewhere else. Or she's going to go somewhere else. I'm putting all my eggs in one basket. And for what? God is the one that should be vindicating you and validating you, but you're giving that to somebody else. Why? Your job cannot vindicate and validate you. Your boss cannot do that. I mean, he needs his own validation and vindication. Your children cannot vindicate you and validate you. Your possessions cannot validate you. Your friends cannot validate you. How many rich people you know in your life cannot vindicate and validate you? Why do you want validation from other people? They are snakes. Yes, I'm calling them snakes. Because they are eating you up bit by bit. It's like an anaconda that's going to swallow you whole. You are allowing people in your life that come with death and destruction. Even our parents. Why are you allowing people in your life that are stealing from you? That have no respect for you. If you cannot respect yourself, how do you respect other people to do it? It's not going to happen. When you walk, you walk like this. Oh, poor me. Poor me. The snakes. When you talk, you are the snake. One snake sees another snake and, and they acknowledge one another. 
Are you a snake in somebody else's life? Maybe you are the snake. You act weak and meek. And then when they don't expect it, you swallow them up. And that's an out you want, day. I had a situation, I started the business a few years ago. God showed me an anaconda on that place that was laying eggs. And I thought, Lord, what are you showing me? And eventually that anaconda ate me up. It ate my blessing because I... I was not treading lightly. I was running in there like a bull in a china shop and I got hurt. I lost a whole lot of money that I don't have. All the effort that I put in there, I lost. Everything I did there, I lost. And for what? Because I did not Listen, I wasn't treading where God wanted me to tread. I gave somebody else my blessing. I gave somebody else my time and my finances that wasn't supposed to go there. I did not listen. To the voice of the dove, I listened to the voice of the serpent. Don't let people don't allow snakes in your life. If you need to get rid of them, do it. It's not going to hurt. If it hurts, it's because you are so emotionally invested in that wrong person. Take your focus off people and turn it to your eternal father. That can validate and vindicate you and bless you beyond your means. Stop looking at the snakes. Stop looking at the circumstances. And look towards your father. Because he's the only one that can bring you eternal life, eternal blessings, eternal peace. And that is the most important thing. He loves you beyond himself. He gave himself for you, so you can be loved, so you can be vindicated, so you can be accepted. Your relationship should be in him, and he will send you the right people. But wait, why are you so bloody hasty? Why are we always running like Uzziah Bolt before God? When he says, come walk here next to me. Jen Johnson of Bethel sings a song. Just wait a little longer. Little longer. It's my grandson's favorite song. Little longer. Just come wait a little longer. The earth is not going to vanish tomorrow. Those people are not going to bring you what you want and what you need. Snakes is there to kill and devour. Don't be devoured. But what you think is from God. It is not. It is not. And if you're not sure, wait a little longer. Sit a little longer. Listen a little longer. Pray a little bit longer. And the answer will come. It will. Stop running like a fireball into a direction that was never supposed to be yours. 